Okay. Hello. ตอนเสียงดังเหมนะไอเสียงดังเวลาออกเนี่ยเสียงดังตายต้องปิดเสียงประเดินข้างนอกไม่ไม่เดินข้างนอกก่อนไม่ใช่เข้าจะบอกไปเชื่อมไม้วันไหนอันนี้ไปเช็คเสียงข้างนอกนี่ดีกว่าว่าเดินแบบนี้อยู่จริงไหมเข้าไหมฮะอ่ะอยู่เปิดไม่เปิดกล้องบ้างเหรอเปิดกล้องไม่เห็นกล้องเลยทำไมไม่เห็นกล้องอยู่อ่ะจะไม่เห็นนะนี่ก็ตาแล้วเนี่ยปูต้องหลังไม่ไม่บนอ่าไม่ใช่เชือกยาวอยู่ชั้นล่างที่เป็นรูอยู่บนเอาเพลทไปกลีบมาก็ได้เออนั่นแหละนี่ทำไมผมไม่เห็นกล้องอยู่อ่ะอันนี้กล้องของอายนี่นี่นี่นี่อย่าเอาเข้าใหม่ให้โอเคจอไอเอาเล็กจะประมาทที่นี่ผิวเพลิผิวผิวได้เนี่ยความลมมีมากกว่าลมไหนก็มีน้อยตอนนี้กุ้งได้ลองดูอะไรหักฮะฮะได้ไหมอันนี้อันนี้ก็ได้อันนี้ก็ได้อันนี้ได้แม่ทำไมไม่ได้เปิดกล้องสมัยไม่เห็นอ่ะไม่ต้องไปอยู่ไฟไหมตอนนี้โอเคหน้าปิวปิวได้ไหมไม่หรือว่าเขาทำเป็นท่าจะได้ฮะไม่เดี๋ยวจะลองมาที่รอได้แล้วก็เดี๋ยวเรามาขึ้นเล่นกันไม่ปิวอ่ะก็ต้องทำเป็นท่าจะได้ได้ก็อยู่เล่นอยู่เล่นกับตัวอยู่เล่นกับมันสองร้อยโอ้กันไหนจะแค่คนเดียวแต่ว่าจะบอกว่าต้องหลับมาคอมเป็นโฮสไม่ใช่ไอแล้วก็เราไปจังที่เราจะเห็นกรองอ
Uh, you lock in as host, you are. Uh, you don't be in lock in, don't know, you've been, been host, uh, not yet. I like a karma. I'm mm. sorry, email. I'm sorry. I'm as I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> Jesus, talk about hard. Huh? Oh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's gonna, it's gonna pee it down, isn't it? อ่ะนะครับแม่ครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับคร
deceased May, my Marcom director, who will be the cameraman, okay? He's a cameraman okay. today. And okay, then the no. two girls behind, uh, you've got the receptionist who a lot of your people might remember. And then my two sales staff, uh, okay? okay? Okay. And as we go around the resort, we've got about 10 of the staff waiting to say hello too, okay? Okay, perfect. Uh, so just give me... How will this work? We do the walk around first and you do a Q&A at the end, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. I just need to change this. Uh, have a look. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I need to make. Uh, you said Mark ASK as host, hey? That's how. Yes, please. That's the cameraman. Well, uh, camera person. And who am I introducing? Me. And that is Kun. Now, I mean, Mark, you. You can introduce me, can Mark on ask because he'll, can you see me now on the film? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, hold on. Let's just change that. So we've just got the other, your other face. <laughs> Forget that. That's just me listening and seeing the screen. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I have a problem. I can't, so I've made him host. Yes, I know, but now they can hear you. So I made him host, but I can't see him here. Eula. So there's he here. Am I doing something wrong? So why is he not here? Okay. Is that right? Now I can log into Cullinan, but I've done it under my name. Should I be fine? Yeah? It's fine. So when we come back from the walk around, I can do another. We will sit here. Okay. So that'll be the end of the walk around. And then if you've got Q&A or whatever, they, we can chat from here, okay? That's perfect. Um, so is it Mark, is that correct? Matt. Matt, Matt, sorry. M-A-T-T, -T. yeah. M-A-T-T, -T, perfect. And then Matt, uh, and are we, the property that we're doing is the Six Carter Pocket or are we doing the no. Seabreeze? Carter Seabreeze Resort. Carter Seabreeze. Okay, perfect. I stayed here with you. That's right, see? I thought you yes. did. <laughs> yes, I did. Beautiful property, my favourite. So, there's going to be one uh, section which will be we're going to have to walk. So, it'll take us about one minute to walk from the top floor down, okay? That's, That's the okay. only... That's the only time that we might go quiet, but don't worry, we cannot use the lift because the signal will disappear. So we have to walk it, okay? But there's only no, one, one area whereby uh, it'll take us a bit of time. I top mic, but that one in. Okay. Uh, okay. <coughs> so um, Matt, just a quick one. When yeah. you talk, your other profile comes up. I would try switching stuff. Yeah, so you need to switch over because... Here we go. That's perfect. So that's through the camera with Mark on mask, and I closed my iPad off. Okay, brilliant. Yes, so that's okay. perfect. Yeah. Um, and then let Wait a minute. Me... Calculate iPad you. iPad I'm you. I got on by Dinan. เงินเสียงครับบอกว่าเราเรานั่งเราจะมองทุกคนได้เลยเวลาคิวเอ็นเอทำเราเราจะมองนี้ได้เลยฮะเป็นไรฮะส่งชั่วโมงแม็กซิ
um, screen. So it doesn't show us the actual walk around. Hello, so you, you get, is this okay now? Now we can see it perfectly. Before it was just your face. Because I was using the um, iPad, but now I'm using Marcom Ask. The microphone. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. I can't hear her when you're here. Matt, I'm just going to give me two minutes. I just want to get a notepad as well. Okay. Thanks. Right, now log. Can you un camera gone, mate? Big gong gone. Look up in logo, I've been con scouts of CB, I've been con Suntoa. What are you big gong? Oh, Diana, we're right. You've been seated, okay, you. Right, big mic, do I?
Hello. Perfect. Okay, we're on. How long do we have before we start? Uh, you have 10 minutes. Okay, because you need to give us about four minutes because we need to walk out to the front of the hotel. No problem. Because it's rather hot today here. It's about 37 degrees and humidity 85. Oh, dear. And over here, so we're looking a bit wet on this holiday. <laughs> and we are currently in 14 degrees and oh. I, the humidity is like none we have nothing which i but seeing let me have your feedback do i you dean get put to me how can we need fang hua too late well i well i can't see the tea seen a tea but then can i
You guys all look very hot. Going you got a Let's go to the beach. Like a wake up, the Angelenka Tong Shan. Hi, you need it. You from my near. You go back and come. Let's go to the beach near. Ah, look on you. We got Angelenka Tong Shan. Ah. เห็นเราเห็นป้ายหมดเลยนะนี่ก็ไม่เห็นสิอ่ะยูจียูได้ไงนี่อ่ะ I love it อะไรไม่ไม่เปิดไม่ได้ว่าจะจะฟีดแบคไม่เสียงมันมันกว้างมาจะได้ได้Test one, two, three. Okay, Angela. You barely are mine. Can you hear us? Yes, Matt, it's Nadia. Yes, you can. I love it. Which I cannot see in that map, but I'm really seeing Kanani. Are you guys still wearing masks in Thailand? Are you guys still wearing masks in Thailand, Matt? Uh, only at the airport and in some department stores, but it's not mandatory except oh. for really the airport and government offices. Ah, oh, okay, that's good. And you? Uh, no, not at all. No, dear. okay, we've asked the staff to take off today. Okay. The only ones they have to wear is in the restaurant. Service staff have to wear. Okay. And um, how's the outbreak of monkeypox in your area? Is there an outbreak yet? Sorry? Is there an outbreak of monkeypox in your area? Or that hasn't been... No, they're not even counting anymore here. Uh, it's if you get it, you just ask to stay at home for three or four days and work from home. Oh, okay. But the, um, I mean, I've got two friends in Bangkok who have it now and they had a cough for about half a day. That was it. And they're still positive, but people are just carrying on. Oh, okay. That's good but to know. Don't, don't forget in Thailand, people don't really hug and touch each other here anyway, right? Not like Europe. <laughs> so we don't hug everyone. We why? So there's no actual physical uh, contact, touching. Yeah. Yeah, oh, very gosh, Christ is hot. <laughs> we do not envy you at all. Goodness. We have a few more people joining, and I think we'll start in about a minute or so. Sorry? Sorry. I said we just have a few more people joining, and okay. then we'll start in a minute. 
Um, and then I'll do a quick introduction and then we'll take it from there and then you're good to go. คุณเดือนเสียงมากก็ต้องลอกเสียงให้ไม่ต้องเยอะพอแล้วไม่ต้องยิงแก่ได้ Okay so I think let's start because obviously it's going to be a, a long walk around um, Firstly thank you everyone for joining us and taking the time out of your busy morning I know things are quite hectic with everyone so thank you so much for joining us Today is a special one because we will have a live walk around of Carter Seabreeze Resort, which is quite special. And Matt will be the one that will take us through. So you can go ahead, Matt. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to Carter Seabreeze Resort here in Carter in Phuket. Today, I'd like to introduce Kun Ui, who is my director of sales. Who is with it also Kun Duen, who is our group director of sales, and our camera person today is Kun May, who is our Marcom director. First of all, welcome back to Qatar Phuket. We've missed you all so much. So today we've got lots of new things to show you at the number two bestseller in South Africa, Qatar Sea Bridge Resort. So thank you very much to everyone at Thompson's for supporting us. And should we have a look? Let's go. First of all. As you walk down the hill today, we have a brand new lobby. The lobby we built two years ago now, we finally finished it off in November last year. As our owner decided because COVID uh, restricted our movements and we ended up closing the resorts for literally six months here in Thailand, they took the plunge and they built us this fantastic brand new lobby which for those who remember resort, it used to be the old shops and the library and the computer room, that's all gone. And we have a spanking new lobby that can now hold up to about 500 people moving in one day, okay? Which is gorgeous and lovely and very beautiful and now very modern, okay? So maybe we'll just quickly show you that. And then of course, our famous shuttle bus that, um, <laughs> me and Gongli. Okay, this is our shuttle bus we still offer. And of course, from all our team here, there's your South African flag now standing proud at the front of the resort. Okay, so welcome home, everyone. And welcome to our brand That's new so lobby. And today, some of the faces might be familiar, including Kunning. Hi, Paji Nami. Kunning. Kun Kate, Kun Kate, who recently joined us, and uh, the rest of the team. So May will now show you quickly around the lobby area, which is now a brand new for all of us. Chachanoi, Chachanoi. Here is Moments Coffee Shop. So this area now we've made into a co-working space. Chachanoi, Chachanoi. We've worked into a co-working space. So when you come and visit your guests here in the resort, you can sit here in the lobby, do some work, and then enjoy a nice illy coffee. Now, those who know the hotel might remember this is the old reception area, which is now being completely revamped. And Kunning will show you now the new meeting room, which when your representatives come to meet the guests can use air conditioned, lovely room. Okay, so you have an area to do your private meetings with the guests and hopefully make some money off the excursions and everything, okay? It's also going to be used as a checkout room. So in the afternoon, we'll be opening the air conditioning so that the guests can have a cool zone to enjoy before having to fly home to South Africa, okay? So that's our new lobby. I'll do new working space. We have computer points for you there. Kundian doing lots of work, making your new contract for you now as we speak. Okay. And then coffee and our new team led by Kunchai, who's our new assistant food and beverage manager who joined us recently. 
and can top take your mask off top mask now I think a lot of you who came to stay with us last time will remember couldn't top he's still with us looking after our F&B restaurant so it'd be nice to see you all coming to see top very soon secondly we've actually been renovating some rooms during the year and we've now set up or done a total of 82 rooms in building one to make them a bit more modern. We've re removed the old terracotta tiling floors. You could be do like night mayor. You don't want to see my back, you'd rather see the rooms, I'm sure. And um, also we've now included international PowerPoints in the resort rooms as well to make it a lot more practical instead of having to bring all your adapters. So this is now the sea breeze room, 44 square meters. As before, the single beds are three and a half footers. So when we put them together, you have a massive seven foot king bed. And in this room, you can also add in your extra bed, your roll away bed. Okay, it's part of your packaging if you bring kids over. And what we have to do with these rooms is to make them modern, however, keep a little bit of the traditional Thai style in here as well, okay? TV channels, TVs, flat screen is normal, 70 channels, we hope we have about 20, cal uh, 20 different channels in English, okay? Still offering the best value for money, we think in Karakaron, three and a half star. We've now won an award for the Asia's best family resort in 2019-20 for being the best family resort, three star category here in Asia, which is an honor to receive, okay? This room is our sea breeze room. However, on the ground floor, if May will turn to the right, this category is then now the greenery room where all our rooms now on the ground floor have a safety chain at one meter 80 from the floor. So if you do have kids, they can't get very far without mum and dad actually opening the doors, okay? The greenery rooms, there you are, you come out to the lovely balcony, nice and airy, looking out to the pool, garden area. Okay, there you are. And then a lot of resorts. Nice to see guests back in. Okay, we have some lovely guests here now from Kazakhstan at the moment, and a few from uh, China, UK and America, obviously. Okay, now, because our signal disappears in the lift, you need to give me a couple of minutes as we go to our new room category, which is called the bunks, which is on floor three. So we're all gonna do a quick dash up three flights of stairs, passing the spa, which is reopening slowly in Thailand now here. Massage can now take place. Sauna rooms, steam rooms, wet rooms, have a limitation of one guest at a time at the moment. However, we have moved the um, massage, Thai massage out to the pool side, which is proving to be quite popular once again as ever. Guests will only pay 350 baht for one hour, which isn't very much. And in true spirit of our owners, the family have joined together with a another local family uh, to offer the spa service. Are you still there? I hope you are. <laughs> right, we've done three flights. Keep up, girls. <laughs> Nearly there. The resort has a total of five buildings, as you may remember, all low rise for stories high. So it's quite a big area. And there we have the bunks. The bunks room again is 44 square meter. The two bunks we've installed, the length is two meters. And then our 35 to take up to a weight of 150 kilograms. There's Kunui showing off the beds. Okay. Each bed has its own light. Own light. Uh huh. So the kids don't need to fight with the switches. They get their own switch so they can play all night. 
okay? And the mattresses are normal roll away, sorry, normal bed mattresses. They are not roll away mattresses, so they really are good quality and they're built into the wall, so they're not standing alone. Uh, bunk beds as in so other many properties. And then outside, Kume will just give you a quick overview from the garden. And there you'll see Lomba Shanlangla. You'll see we have a new swimming pool there has been resurfaced this past year. Cha 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 cha. Gone by midtime. A new swimming pool there. New umbrellas, bright orange, in true keeping with Cata Sea Breeze colors. Okay, and we've tidied up an old pump room, which has now disappeared underground. So let's, oh, we've made a lot more garden area. And we have blue sky at last coming over in the temperature day of 37 degrees over here and the humidity of 80 odd plus. So we're extremely jealous of you guys there. At 14, 15 degrees, we'd love that cold of temperature over here. Okay, right. Let's go. Let's go. So, you need to bear with us one more time. We need to go back down three flights of stairs. Okay, and for this occasion, I ask permission from you all. We're going to be using an emergency exit staircase, as it's the fastest way down for us and then we'll join you back outside of the swimming pools. When we get to the end of this afternoon session, obviously, if you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to help. And we've already launched with Thompson Holidays, the summer of 23 special rates for you. And as always, the team here is very, very pleased and honoured to be able to welcome your guests and any special requests and you know who to contact now. And uh, we'll always do our best to please. Nearly there. As we leave the corridor, we'll be back into the garden. And on the left side there is our restaurant seasoning restaurant and Z bar. There's a lovely new pool. Lots of garden, which is looking spectacular by the way. Our owners kept on during the whole of COVID. We've kept the team of seven on right through. A lot of hotel gardens sadly were not so well looked after obviously during the lockdown, however. Our owners pride and joy, or the mums, is the garden itself. This is seasoning, so our three girls here, Hank and Chai once again, are, oh, Top's back with us. What we've done this year now is seasoning. We did a survey with guests for about two years. And obviously, Kata now is extremely famous for, must be about 80 or 90 restaurants and bars and eateries within the distance of the sea breeze. What we've done now is after breakfast, we are serving a very simple snack bar menu right up until midnight. Also pizzas, burgers and things like that, your favorites, it here in the Z bar and also down at the swimming pools. Okay. The idea is that it helps us to reduce manning. Everyone knows at the moment, the cost of living is going up dramatically. It is certainly over here. And also having survey guests, it was very clear that a lot of the menu items we used to have on weren't actually attractive to you and your guests. So we've taken that on board. So we've completely revamped now the restaurant menus so that we can give something the guests actually want rather than having great long menus. Okay, back in the garden here, we're now going to buildings five and the fourth and fifth swimming pools here on the left. This area is still one of the most popular areas of the resort. This part of the resort we keep quiet. We don't have music on around the pool up at this end. 
um, and seashell there. The moment is closed. However, we are looking at making this the center to make our new resort pizzas. When we uh, hopefully by November, we can start open Roy 100%. Okay, this building number five is also famous for the Agua Porta rooms, our pool access rooms. Okay, so we'll take you to one of those now. Five one one six. That's before the rooms are forty four square meter. The difference in this room category is the fact the bathroom we separate the pool from the shower. And then it's a seven foot bed king bed so in this room we can easily put in one roll away bed and also this room has the advantage which you now have on your offer of two plus two is a day bed which we can change into a sofa bed for the smaller kid so this room now is quite capable of taking four plus four uh, sorry two plus two and then you can see in the bathroom Again, this is still three and a half star category. This year we've done some touch up works. New bed linens arrived. Mattresses have been rotated. The rooms, air conditions have completely been redone. So we comply with health and safety regulations and the dreaded Legionnaire's disease regulations. Now compliant. And once again, at one meter 80, there's now a safety lock so the kids cannot get out to the access without mum and dad's help. Still one of the most popular rooms for our guests from South Africa. We have two sets of connecting doors whereby one side is a king bed as this room is and the other side is a twin bedded room for families. And there's May just showing from the pool. Hi, splendid, sweet, good eye. And then the two splendid suite rooms right at the end of the building. Okay, at the moment they're under renovation and they'll be back online hopefully in the next month or so. And the top of the buildings we've redone, all the metal work has been redone. Um, the facing of the building has been checked and some areas have been redone as well. So it's looking fresh again and there's been lots of repainting to make sure we keep up our color standards within the resort. Okay, so that's our Agropora room. So that is our main four categories of room, which you have on sale in South Africa with Thompson Holidays. As always, we have uh, repeat guests already contacting us for next year and the help of the team in South Africa to let us know when they are repeat guests is always appreciated. It's always nice to give them a fabulous welcome when they get back to the resort and they remember us and we remember them. Fit 24 upstairs now, the fitness room is now open 24 seven. Uh, so guests can help themselves whenever they wish. And um, we've been rebranding the kids. The old kids' playroom is now called Mowin. Mowin's playroom, which is uh, obviously our mascot. And Kunlek from our housekeeping department, who lots of the kids will remember, is still on board with us. And she owns it every day from eight till five. <laughs> We've also installed now around the kids section, a mandatory barrier, which is now in compliance with EU regulations. Okay. So the kids pool is now separated from uh, the main, the very, very shallow adults pool under the bridge. As I said, this area of the resort, we don't put any music. We don't do events and anything. We try and keep it quiet. So it means that guests can relax, read a book, enjoy the afternoon sun. And also see some of the sunset from this area as well. Wow. 
And as we walk back to the lobby, we'll be passing one of the salas, one of the outdoor salas where we have table tennis. And just behind there, we would do volleyball, small chair ball, sometimes mini football, when we invite the staff to join with the guests. Okay, late afternoon. And then one of our highlights in the resort, which we've become very famous for, is our movie night, which is here in the garden with the screen on the side of the building. Now, I just want to show you something. You need on, you need on. When we first started this project, there was a tree here, right in the middle of the screen. So I told the owner I'd like to do a movie night. So when I came back to work in the morning, the, guests had moved, the owner had moved the tree, not cut it, moved it to here. So there's the tree. So then we got a movie night on the side of the building. There's still no charge, obviously, for the movie night, but it does mean the guests can sit the Z bar and then watch the movie night from up there having dinner. Or they can come and sit down here on the bean bags, have some popcorn, have a cool drink, and then just relax. There's no charge for that. At the moment, the resort is, op is operating at 35%. So we've opened two buildings in total. We are now in the work elements of setting up air conditioning and linen and mattresses and everything in the last two, in the two more buildings, which if all plan goes to well, we'll be reopening at the end of October in time for high season. Everyone's being very positive at the moment that this year the um, high season will start to bring guests back to us, which we all hope. And then, of course, your super, super high season next April will then be 100% ready to welcome you all back. Sea Star Bar, I guess here from Australia, repeat guests, they come every year. Happy hours at the moment are all day in the resort. And the Sea Star Bar, pool, Simit Pool Bar is still there with Kunnan, who some of you might remember is still with us. So he'll be shaking those cocktails in the afternoon, right up until 7 p.m. here around the pool. And now you can see the back of the new lobby. New area. So as you can see, we've now increased the walkways by two. So you're gone, you're gone. So we, we can show we now on the right hand side of your screen is now the walkways to buildings two and three from the lobby. So there's no need to do a big U-turn. And then on the left side here, we've got walkways into buildings one, four, and then through the garden to five. Okay. And as May walks back into the lobby, I think it's time for a cocktail, don't you? So if Kundian and Kun Lui are ready. Let's have a seat. Oh, it's hot. And I got you at Yapile. To all of you, Toy Lang, Toy Lang, Mahin, May May Toy Lang. May May, don't hint Sam Kola. Which I may hint, may hint me, may hint Pom. May may hint Pom. May hint me, Kundiao Leo. The Leo, you sort of me. Okay, from all of us here in Phuket to all of you in South Africa. Cheers. Cheers. And we hope to see you back in Qatar very, very soon. Sending all our love. Chok di, Kaab. Chok di. That was outstanding. Thank you so much. At least you get to cool down now after that hot, 
hot <laughs> weather outside. The <laughs> hotel is looking amazing as it was when we were last there. I think it was in 2019. So yeah, it's absolutely outstanding. Yeah. Do we have so, any questions? Let's have a look. Wow, I've got, I just want to say thank you, Matt. That was a lovely, lovely walkthrough. I mean, the resort is looking absolutely lovely. Thanks so much. Um, this is Toshi speaking. Um, hey, I, just Toshi. To remind, <laughs> I just wanted to remind everyone that we've got the packages up on the website for October, for November, and we've got a lovely um, summer sun uh, promotion that um, Matt has sent us. And that is also valid from April to October, 2023. So just wanted to remind everyone. Thank you so much, Matt. If anyone's got any questions about Phuket yes. or anything you need to know, what's going on or anything yes, about vaccination, please ask her. We've got three, yes, two experts here today. Between Matt, us, we, we can help. Question. The question is, um, they, have a, they have clients staying over New Year's. Are there gala dinners for New Year's? Sorry? Uh, a client, uh, sorry, Carolyn asked, I have guests looking to stay at Carter Seabreeze over New Year's. Are there gala dinners for New Year's? Gala dinners gala? now in the last three years, we've, we've taken them out of everywhere. Nothing is compulsory anymore. But what we do is we have our New Year party at the Siskata. So because the guests are staying in Seabreeze, it's obviously the same family then we give them a heavily discounted uh, uh, ticket price to come and join us at the SIS. We did this, or we made this decision, Kundian and I, a few years ago, because I think you'll agree that gala dinners in hotels now don't work, and no one wants to see Elvis Presley every year on every cabaret show on the end of every year. So we've taken it out. So we make it non-compulsory. And last year, what we did, we had a buffet I think it was 600 Thai bar per person to start off with. And then from 9 o'clock to 1 a.m., we did the party around the pool. So it meant that uh, you could have a choice. The families could join the buffet if they wanted to. Their mum and dad and the older kids could then join the DJ, who is an international DJ who's based in Phuket. Nice. And he took us right up till midnight. And then the team here and all the management joined together to do the official countdown. Sadly, yeah. last year, we were not allowed to send up fireworks as per the local regulations because the government were, were a bit worried the guests would be upset that they couldn't join, enjoy New Year because obviously we were still under very strict regulations. However, however, we heard this morning that the, the regulations will be issued soon. The only regulation we've heard this year is the sound. And I do think that that is not very quiet, especially when I'm in charge. We have a party and we make sure the whole of Katagaron hear it. So we might need to calm down the noise a bit. However, we have heard and we hope that we can send fireworks up this year. If that's the case, anyone in Qatar will have a fantastic show because the big five or six results all send fireworks up. So fingers crossed we get the approval this year. At last, we can have a real proper New Year's party. That's amazing. So do come over. Yes. However, one other thing for you guys is the fact that Seabreeze has given you a complete flat rate all the way through. So as Torche said, now there is no peak season supplement. It's a flat rate. So let's get the market started going again. So there's no... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, there's no worry about gala dinners or peak season supplements. It's all gone this year. Okay. Lovely. Uh, your next question is how far <coughs> is the beach or where how easy it to, how easy is it to get to the nearest beach? Okay, we obviously the nearest beach to us is Kata Beach. Okay. Kata Beach, as you saw just now, we have Kung Kung and his uh, mini bus. That and will take, take you down to the beach, which takes three minutes. So it's actually quicker to walk. So it's completely flat. From the resort to the beach, it's completely flat. You'll pass maybe 20 or 30 restaurants. There's ATM bank machines on the way. There's a couple of convenience stores now reopened. And then turn right and you're straight on to Kata Beach. That has now won awards for being one of the best surfing beaches in Thailand. How about that? 
Amazing. So if you were here now, at the end of this month, the Asiana wind, uh, surfing competition is coming to Phuket this year and it's coming to Kata Beach. Wow. So we've got the Asian surfing competition, which is an internationally recognized surfing competition coming here. So if there are any keen surfers in South Africa, then it might be our rainy season, but it's a season for you to come and surf. Okay, so there you go. Not far at all. Thank you. And just a question around smoking and vaping in Thailand. What are the regulations regarding smoking and vaping? Okay. Smoking. <coughs> oh, dear. <laughs> smoking in Thailand. You cannot smoke in any air conditioned place anywhere. Restaurants, bars, vehicles, shopping malls now. Air conditioning okay. areas, you cannot smoke indoors anymore. The resorts, we now have to have a smoking area within the resort. So we have in the sea breeze three separate areas. However, it is up to the resorts to make a decision themselves whether guests can smoke in the rooms or not. The reason this they do this is because, especially in Bangkok, some of the high rise tower hotels, obviously, they have markets, for example, South Korea and from Japan, which is a requirement that they can smoke in the rooms fair enough however Kata sea breeze our policy is and only for us and also for the siskata we don't allow any smoking in the guest room however we do provide an ashtray on the balcony okay. for everyone okay so we don't mind that however we do ask the guests respect the fact we want to become really a non-smoking resort however the markets that we have coming to stay with us, we do understand, and I used to be a smoker, so I fully understand this, don't worry, that we do need somewhere to have a quick smoke. So we use the balconies. Okay. In regarding to vaping, under Thai law at the moment, vaping is 100% illegal. Oh, goodness. <laughs> However, if you join the groupie groups and all your Facebook chit chat rooms, there's lots of people telling you how they got their vapors from their home country into Phuket. However, please be warned, at the airport, there is a very big sign at the customs x-ray to explain that vaping is actually illegal in Thailand. Oh, wow. However, as long as you're clever enough and not go on the main street next to a police station, <laughs> or a local government office and start vaping and say, hey, I've got a vape. Where did you buy it from or whatever? Mm. It should be okay. <laughs> Please don't try to smuggle in. If they catch it, you are liable. However, guests have got them in. And yesterday I flew back in from Singapore. We had a, we had a, a consumer fair in Singapore, so I flew back in for the first time into Phuket International Airport yesterday. And they have now restarted to x-ray baggage as you depart from the customs hall. However, on top of that, the only thing is there's only one member of staff. So <laughs> by the time she's guided your bag on the conveyor belt and then gone back to the screen, the bag's already gone through. So Okay, there's loopholes. <laughs> but there are ways if they insist to get around it okay. i've not heard of anyone being caught yet but we have heard of people receiving warnings from the local thai government okay from the police any good okay. <laughs> yes thank you um just a quick one matt does your does your shuttle service take clients to patong beach at a charge no, we are hotels at the moment are unable to operate between Kata and Patong. Okay. And some of our favorite friends will understand the reason why. However, if you remember the smart bus that was set up by the local Phuket organization, that bus now is started again. It's a Mercedes-Benz 18-seater bus, and you can download the app. So it will tell you exactly where the bus is. At the moment, that is now going beach to beach, and it costs 100 baht per person to go from beach to beach, and 180 baht from Katak to Phuket International Airport. That ah. service now is back in operation. 
There is no need to buy a ticket beforehand. At Seabreeze, you can ask Kunning and the, CISC, uh, the care team here, and they will give you more details. And the bus stop for us is literally turn out of the resort and it's 50 meters on the right hand side, just in front of our competitor, Catapalm Beach Resort, so not too far away. Okay. okay. This bunch actually has been working all the way through COVID because the locals used it to get from beach to vaccination center. Okay. So it's a government bus. So it's been, they've been able to maintain it um, because during the vaccination sessions, that's how we got around the island to reduce the number of private cars going to hospitals and things. So yeah, it's there, it works. Hotels cannot operate. For those who know Phuket well, will understand what I'm saying. However, some hotels, when Jung Salon reopens, because Jung Salon at the moment is closed, in Padong it's closed, we expect when that reopens by the end of the year, we can go negotiate with Jung Salon and ask them that we can pick up inside Jung Salon. Okay? okay. But as far as we know, it must be a logo hotel vehicle, which we have, and then we will look at obviously starting it off. But to be quite honest, because we have the smart bus operating, it seems a bit silly to try and compete with them because the smart bus is obviously government operated. It's a Mercedes Benz. It's an air conditioned bus. And we won't be to charge much less than 100 baht anyway because of fuel cost because of the hills in between. So we'd rather, I suppose, guests use that smart bus. And okay. uh, Matt, am I correct that you can also t hire Tuk Tuk um, or those mini, what, those mini bikes? What is it, those? <laughs> and then take yourself down to the beach? Yeah, we're very lucky. At Cata Sea Breeze, we know the five Tuk Tuk owners who are in front of the hotel, which does help, okay? Yeah. Uh, again, people who know Phuket Wa will know about the word M on this island. Mm -hmm. Sadly, the Tuk Tuk's are part of the M. Uh, but however, I know all the Tuk Tuk drivers in front of the hotel and they're a lovely team actually, and mm -hmm. we can talk to them. Um, what you'll find now is a lot of Tuk Tuk drivers have actually moved across into the Grab app. Grab app mm -hmm. as a Song Tao. Song Tao is a two-seater two, uh, two open air truck on the Grab app, which guests can use. But they're quite happy to do the round the island trip tour if you like. That's still available. Obviously, it's up to the guests to negotiate. And I think some of the best bargainers in the world are from South Africa. You barter like hell to get the price down. So I'm sure you're the experts. That, that. is true. And if you give them a nice smile, be nice, nice tourists, and we want to have a look at your lovely island, and I'm sure you they'll do you a good deal. Okay. I mean, when we were there, it was quite reasonable. I think it was like 70 baht or something silly. It was very, very cheap. It was, it was actually a really good experience as well. Yeah. yeah. It's part of the Phuket experience, right? Mm. Definitely. Okay. The only thing we don't recommend, and we still don't recommend, is motorbike hire. Okay. It's one of the biggest issues we've had, uh, especially with uh, a couple of countries. Please remind guests, if they do ask the team about motorcycle, they must have insurance that covers motorbikes. Okay. What we found in the last year, especially with this COVID insurance, is not covering motorbikes. And there's still plenty of accidents, obviously, over here with guests who have never used motorcycles before in their life. And the second is they need to have a motorcycle license. Okay. An international license has to cover their motorbikes because you'll hear all the stories about the police stopping and checking. Mm. That's what they're checking for. And you will be fined if you haven't got a motorbike uh, license. It's illegal anywhere, right? Yeah. But the more important thing for us, especially as hoteliers, and the girls can tell you when they take the mask off, the biggest issue we have is the number, sadly, of accidents we see with uh, motorbikes. So it's just uh, for your team to pass on to their guests, please stay safe and uh, have some good insurance. Yeah. Definitely. Are there any other questions? You can ask the girls if you like. I mean, <laughs> sitting here masked up here. <laughs> no, I think that's it. Thank you so much, Matt, and, uh, and your team. We really do appreciate your time and your effort. Yeah, and the little touches. It was amazing.
Come on, come and say hello. They're going to say goodbye now to South Africa. You are. Thank you so much. And guys, if you want to take off your mics and say goodbye, you're more than welcome to. Top mask, come on, top mask, hello. Thank you very much, Kunmet. Thank you, Kato okay. TV's team. Thank you. Looking forward to uh, get your booking soon. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> and we've, we had some good news yesterday that the Phuket Tourist Association are looking at setting up a road show to South Africa in 2023. Yay. That's but last we can come back and see you guys in Johannesburg and Cape Town. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. That was very informative, especially the walk around. Thank you, Tosha. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining, and we will see you next week for our next training session on Wednesday. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye from Qatar. Bye. 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 Bye.